Hi, this is Kev, uh, welcome to Gear Steer. Around about the end of October last year, um, I received what I thought was the last ever, <laughs> or one of the last ever, um, Harley Benton TE20 HH SBK standard series Telecaster style guitar. Um, yes, um, but it wasn't. Um, the guitar was unavailable for some time. Um, uh, in fact, it, it wasn't even showing on the website for some time which made me think it was completely discontinued but it's actually come back on the market which is great news uh, for everyone else because this has turned into one of my go-to guitars so I've, I've been going over the video which I took at the time uh, and I'm just going to keep this one very simple uh, it's an unboxing uh, tone test and just my thoughts on the guitar afterwards I'm going to do an unboxing today of a guitar oh, that I've just dropped Fresh I've received from Tommen uh, in Germany and it's a black satin telly caster. It cost me 95 euros including postage and packing. Now bear in mind I live in Luxembourg right next to Germany so that's why the postage and packing is free. Uh, it's a humbucker humbucker configuration telecaster. Okay let's get this thing unboxed. It's come in the usual common packaging, which is pretty robust. Alright, except in this case, um, you can't see this. It's better if I do it this way. In this case, inside the box, there is no other packaging. So this guitar has been like that all the way in transit so that's the first time I've seen that from Tom and all right so here's the box it's not looking too bad let's get the tape off it I really like the finish of this thing leastways it looks good in the pictures so here's the guitar I'm a bit of a soft spot for tellies and I like this I've got a load of these um, packages that you've got in here a cable and a truss rod. The truss rod on this is double action which means that if you over tighten or over loosen the truss rod it's undoable. Let's get rid of this. Okay let's finally get this out of the bag. So to say it's not completely packaged is not right, but I'm expect I'm used to seeing some better packing from Tosh and Tom on that. Let's take this paper off the strings here. And some stuff to make sure the guitar doesn't get too damp. And then this is nice, it's just a little bit of foam to stop the switch getting, getting broken. Okay, so here we go, this is the guitar. It's this in this nice matte finish, which I like. Although the neck feels a little bit slower as a result. I've uh, got this nice headstocks, they're standard series. Really there. There's some tuners, it'll be interesting to see how they work. They're not the worst tuners I've seen. So I've never had a satin finished guitar before, so I'd give it a go. Let's see how it sounds. Let's just try the action. Yeah, feels okay. So it's very much a standard Telecaster configuration. You've got your all your electronics under here, tone, volume or volume tone, can't remember. Three-way pickup selector switch, you've got neck pickup here, middle which is both pickups, and bridge which is just that pickup. It's got some nice black saddles here, string trees, we've got these kind of vintage style tuners. It's kind of an interesting looking guitar. Okay, so that's the unboxing, that's the guitar. So what I'll do now 
is I'll just take all the plastic off and at least take the plastic off the pickups and do a quick tone test, see how it sounds through some pedals. I've just um, been searching around for the right files that I recorded back in November of the T20 stock and they've gone. I'm not quite sure what's happened. So I have had to record them with the T20 as it is now. Now since I got it I have done three things. I've changed the tuners, I've changed the string trees, it's now got Graftech Tusk string trees on it. Uh, and I've also shielded the pickup cavity so it now has a fully shielded pickup cavity but it has the same strings on it that it had when it was delivered um, uh, apart from that I've not really, really noticed any tonal differences I've not changed the pickups I've not changed any of the electrics so it's pretty much is as it's just a little bit quieter so you, you let me know what you think uh, this is the tone test That's that then. Um, my impression of this guitar are very good. The neck is phenomenal. It's um, it needs a bit of work. The fret ends need sort of rounding off. They're a bit sharp. And the neck itself, I'm just going to sand it, even if I can't ruin the finish, just to make it a little bit faster. Um, but that modern D neck profile um, makes it really, really nice to play. It's just a guitar you pick up and you just get into whatever you're playing. Um, the tuners were usable as stock but the new tuners just kind of slotted straight in there so um, with a 10 millimeter borehole so that was nice in terms of an easy mod. The electrics also quite serviceable there's nothing amazing there but it seems to work really well with the pickups so I'm just going to leave it. The nut was also quite good I'm not feeling the need to do anything to that the strings aren't sticking in in the nut holes so that's great. The bridge is top loading, which I would, I mean, I'd ideally prefer a string through bridge, 
but again I'm reluctant to change anything on the guitar I think it sounds so good the assembly is functional works okay you know I might maybe get some brass saddles in there or something but. Um, those no-name humbuckers just steal the show um, from my point of view I don't know what they've done to them but they don't sound like any no-name I'm assuming they're ceramics I'm not sure uh, they don't they sound like any no-name pickups I've ever tried. They're really, really nice. They're dark and dirty, and they've kind of got actually. They've also got quite a nice range to them. I, I've, I think they're great. I, I really wouldn't change a thing with those pickups. I, I am going to change them just to see what it sounds like, but I'm almost certainly going to just put the old ones back in. You know, I might even do a side-by-side uh, -side comparison in the next video. The action uh, when I adjusted it went exactly where I wanted it. I, I like my action pretty low and it's just gone straight there which means to me the bridge, nut, neck and body all fit together really really well. So that's really impressive for an under you know $100 guitar. Uh, the guitar was slightly noisy before I shielded it which is why I shielded it. Um, but it wasn't beyond the realms of reason and for most people it, it kind of wouldn't bother you i just gotten into shielding guitars and seeing how quiet they can get them and it did get quite a bit quieter but stock they were they were pretty good it just in general feels like a much more expensive guitar it's got i think it's got character and it's got its very own sound i, th I think it interacts really well with um, game pedals it works really well really well with overdrives i bought several affordable guitars last year and made some of them sound really really nice. I even bought a Gretsch this year and I haven't managed to make that sound as good as this guitar yet but yeah overall extremely impressed. I, I don't know if I got lucky with this guitar perhaps I just got really really lucky in the quality control lottery but based on the fact that you know I've bought another Harley Benton 20 series recently and it also was very good I certainly think Harley Benton are just really picking things up on their quality control. So yeah, look out for part two of this where I, I go and dive in and, and modify the guitar some more, as well as talk a little bit more about the mods I've done already. Yeah, and I don't know what else to say, it's a great guitar. So yes, plenty of other videos coming up as usual. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit subscribe. And aside from that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time on Gear Steer.